This week on Archery 101, we are going to revisit the Katra Controversy. Everybody, Greg here and welcome to Archery 101. You know my first video on fact or fiction I did because I was really interested to see if it worked. Now see this video playing behind me? This is the video that I based mine off of. These gentlemen here are demonstrating in their video how their Katra technique increases the speed of their arrow. Now with this first video I noticed a few things and several others did and they pointed it out to them. And I let it go but then they posted a second video and they showed little things they did to prove that they, what they were doing was actually the Katra technique increasing the speed and not the other things that we noticed. And a lot of people gave me criticism on it and it wasn't about my results, it was about me. And they're like, you know, you're not doing the Katra, you're yanking your body, you're doing this, you're not doing it right. No one disputed my claim that it doesn't improve it. They just wanted to pick on me and slam me. Fine. So I decided to revisit it because these gentlemen with this video right here, as I said earlier, posted a second one. And I'm going to take myself out of it so you can't say I'm doing it wrong. And we're going to break down the second video to see if Katra does increase speed. And if it doesn't, what's actually happening that is increasing the arrow speed? All right, you can see right here, here's the guy shooting it. And these are their different speeds you see right here. So you can see they, they got a gain. Not as much um, in speed. They're actually, the numbers are a little lower, but they claim the percentile rate is the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break, we're gonna take a look and we're gonna break down the first Katra technique, which they call Ford Katra. Okay, here we are with the forward Katra technique. Now we're just going to watch it a couple times in slow motion and then I'm going to break it down. So, as you can see from the first and second arrow, he drew back, the tape was by the thumb, and then right before he released, it went back a little bit. That pulling back just a little bit increases the draw length. In this clip, watch the red line, because it's going to show you that the archer is actually extending his arm and shoulder out before he releases. All right, everybody, I showed you that what they're really doing is slightly extending their draw length to generate the power, but that's not addressing the Katra technique. They believe that little snapping forward motion is what gives the arrow more speed. But if you look at the video, you'll see that the arrow's almost totally off the bow before he even begins the technique. So let's look at the first picture. Here's our archer at full draw. Now the one thing you'll notice is his shoulders are not squared. That's allowing him to make that slight movement forward. One of the critiques of me that I was throwing my body forward, well yeah, that's because I had a good frame. My shoulders were in line. I could not rotate anymore to move that hand forward. Now here's the second picture. You'll notice the arrow is totally off the bow. But look how little he moved the bow. His arrow is traveling 167 feet per second. So how long do you think it's going to take that arrow to cover 28 to 30 inches? That's how little reaction time they have. Now here's a third picture. And it shows you the arrow is over halfway past the bow before there's any rotation of the bow. There is no way that, that forward rotation of the bow is in 
increasing the arrow speed. All right, boys and girls, that's the forward one. You've seen my prognosis and you know what I'm talking about. Now let's look at the second one, the forward and side contra technique. The second one that they used was the forward contra with a side rotation. So let's take a couple looks at it and then let's see what's really going on. One thing they did to address the critics was they put a piece of white tape on the arrow to show you that they were not changing the draw length. Well, let's look at the video and as you can see, they did. It actually goes almost two inches. Now two inches, that's a lot of adage to the draw weight. Now my test, uh, two inches of my bows can equal over 20 feet per second difference. And there, my friends, is why the arrow is going faster. We know that he's increasing his draw length, but the question is, why is he doing it? So if you watch the video, and in this close-up, you're going to see he's rotating his shoulders because he does not have his shoulders in a straight line. He's able to rotate them more. That rotation, nice strong front arm, increases the draw length. That is why his tape is moving backwards. To better illustrate it for you, let's go back to using that red line, shall we? Here you go. You can see it. He is definitely rotating his shoulders. Now, if he had um, squared shoulders, he wouldn't be able to do that without throwing his body forward. But that, my friends, is what's causing the faster speeds. All right, I made my case that what's actually causing the arrow to go faster is extended drawing. But what about the Katra technique? Again, now with this technique, his arrows are in the 170 plus feet per second range. It's only going to travel 30 inches. So this guy has milliseconds to push that bow forward and rotate it. So the first picture you see here, here he is full draw. Now look at it. The arrow's gone. There is no forward or side movement. It has zero effect on that arrow. People can say otherwise, but I have not seen anything in this video to show me something different. All right, everybody. You know, I'm totally out of it. And there's without a doubt that I proved, using their own techniques against them, that it wasn't the Katra technique. It was them expanding and making a longer draw length and increased their speed. Now, with that said, I really think that the Katra technique what these guys are mistaking is arrow speed was to do this. One of the critiques people said multiple times, I was lunging my body when I did the contract. Do you know why I was lunging my body? Because unlike the guy in the video, I had a solid frame. There is no way when you are here that you can pull back another inch without moving your hand if you got a full locked out frame. His shoulders and arms were not in line. They were canted. See that? I can go like that. If I'm like this, I can't. That's why I was moving forward. So I took the video at face level and that's all I could do was jerking forward. So, my findings are confirmed. The Katra technique shown in this video, it does not increase your arrow speeds. All right, boys and girls, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. You got something to say? Got something you want me to check out? Put it in the comments down below. And I'll see you next week with an all new episode of Archery 101.